Marva Farrington, YNC, USN. We would have, uh, sometimes we would uh, go down to the ships and do blocking and bracing, getting hulls prepared to accept cargo and stuff like that. Or we would have um, scenarios where we would be in our tents. And uh, yes, Navy does camp in tents. <laughs> Sometimes, depending on, on what your mission is. So we needed to know how to do, how to set up tents, how to live in tents, how to how the port, get the portable showers, and how to protect the perimeters. And everybody, like I said, you are a cargo handler first, and, you, and then your other rating comes in second. So yes, I walk perimeters. Uh, security-wise and whatnot, uh, in the dead of night, and uh, they would have, they would play, not play, that's the wrong word, they would have scenarios where um, they would try to infiltrate the perimeters and stuff like that, so, and that, that was a, our, our ongoing training uh, between uh, uh, events <laughs> yeah, and I was a, a sharpshooter I think I was a sharpshooter but um, and then also uh, a nine millimeter uh, they were supply ships because these ships would then go over to the Gulf when in the when we were in the Philippines they would then go over to the Gulf and, and offload there we did have a detachment at the UAE that would offload. I, although I did go up to South Korea after the war was over, I mean when we were still in the Philippines, and visit my son who was in the army and, and stationed up there and, and uh, getting married. So I was able to take a, a MAC flight up to South Korea and, uh, and visit him. I was sorry he joined the army, <laughs> and we still we still you know jab each other you know about that, especially on the on the army navy games. But uh, I was very proud of him. Still, am very proud of him. He's he's turned out to be a wonderful young man.